everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fine Fine Lab mic. So let's just jump into the unboxing. So when you start unboxing your package, everything seems good, but for me, the headset was sticking out for some reason. So everything that comes in is the manual, the receiver, the headset. That was quite hard to get out. Then we have the lavalier microphone, the transmitter, which was also quite hard to get out. And then the cable. And this is everything that should come in your package. So once you're done unboxing your camera, it's actually quite easy to get it set up and working. It only takes about 20 seconds to get the microphone up and running. So right now I'm using my Rode Video Micro. This is the microphone that I use all the time. And the only thing that I don't like about this microphone is how much background noise it captures. So, I was thinking maybe a lavalier mic would fix my issue when it comes to videos like these when um, maybe a lavalier mic would be better in this situation. So Five Fine approached me and they said they wanted to send over their microphone. Five Fine did send over this microphone for me to review for free, however, they did not pay me to say anything good about this microphone, therefore I'll be giving my honest opinion about this microphone. So this is how my videos always sound like with the Rode video. So I'll switch in one, two, three. Okay, and right now I'm using the lavalier microphone. This is how it sounds like. I'm trying to get a look at my sound levels and make sure they're okay. Without further further ado, this is how the microphone sounds like straight out of the box. There's no effects on it right now to make it sound better. However, so this is how it sounds like straight out of the box. This is how it's gonna sound like. And now I'm gonna apply effects. So three, two, one. I have just applied effects just to make it sound a little bit better. Now I'm, I'm, I'm by no means a master at sound design. So I just made a couple of minor adjustments, but this is how it sounds like with a couple of adjustments. And now we're back to just out of the box sound. So I'm just gonna be using this microphone for the rest of this review to give you guys an idea of how this microphone sounds. So let's start off on the good note. Let's start off the pros. Number one is the build quality of this microphone plus the price. So those two go together, I guess. The build quality of this microphone is quite good. It feels pretty sturdy and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break after a month of using it. And the price is really low. It's only $50 Canadian for this microphone. So for the price, you're getting pretty good build quality from this microphone. And the third pro is the sound quality. It's actually not that bad. It's quite good compared to other lavalier microphones in this price range. It is not the best, but it certainly isn't bad. It might sometimes sound a little boxy or like as if you're talking through a gaming headset. If you ever played video games, you know how those sound like. Kind of gives me that vibe, but it still isn't bad. Therefore, it's a pro. So let's move on to the middle ground now. These are things that I wouldn't necessarily put in the pro, but not in the cons either, which is the signal slash range. It's great. I mean, I walked, I'm gonna show you guys a test in a second. I walked all the way to the end of a soccer field and you could still hear me. However, when I got really close to the other net, it started cracking up a bit. So the range is pretty good. However, it does start cracking up after about, I would say this is, roughly around 70 meters so it's good but then you start to hear some interference and now let's talk about the cons or the things that I don't like about this microphone well, number one will be the receiver build quality it's just not great it feels like I got it straight out of the dollar store the flap which opens up so you can put in batteries it it feels like it's about to fall off it's just not a good quality I wish that they would have made it the same as the transmitter because the transmitter is actually pretty pretty sturdy it's pretty good the receiver it's uh it's not great my second complaint about this set of stuff is the cable that plugs into your camera so that you can record your audio internally it's uh it's not long enough it just it just and 
my and my receiver is just dangling from my camera right now i'm recording it right now to show you guys it's just dangling it doesn't look good it doesn't look clean when i'm recording this on a tripod i kind of just tape it to the side of my tripod however a fix that i would recommend is make the cable maybe a couple of centimeters longer and put like a cold shoe mount on the bottom so you can mount the receiver on top of your camera on the hot shoe mount or whatever it's called I feel like that would be an easy fix and would make the usage of this receiver and this whole set much better and easier. Okay, it's quite a bit windy, but right now I'm going to do the range test. So I'm just going to start walking backwards and I'm going to walk all the way until the end of this soccer field to show you guys how long this range is approximately. So this is a small soccer field. So let's start walking and I'm just going to keep walking while facing you guys and I'm just going to keep talking. So I'm not sure if this is still picking up the voice, but if it is, I'm quite impressed. Um, getting close to the soccer net right here. Um, I hope you can still hear my voice. I'm not sure the net. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I'm standing all the way. I'm standing all the way on the other side of this net. Uh, can you hear me? So one of the things that I wish they added to this mic was a oh, dead cat so you couldn't hear uh, much wind noise because it's really windy right now. So like I mentioned in the range test, uh, this is con but you can easily fix this by yourself and I don't blame Fine Fine for not including this but it did come in my road video micro so I'm just going to add this as a con. There is no dead cat or windscreen. So if, it's, if there's wind blowing, you will be able to hear the wind. Also another con that I witnessed while I took this thing out for camping on a camping trip, I was trying to pack my equipment bag and I noticed that this transmitter right here, the, kit, the antenna, it's quite long and it's plastic and it doesn't fold. The antenna in the receiver does fold so it makes transporting it much easier and much more simple. I can put it, I can just throw it in there. Well this the antenna is kind of bendy but it feels really cheap and it doesn't fold. Transporting this makes it pretty hard so what I would do is just the same solution which is in the receiver make this thing so you can retract it inside it would make transporting this thing much easier and much and much less scarier because I really feel like this antenna is gonna break off one day. So those are all the things that I like, dislike and kind of like and dislike at the same time about this microphone so overall it's great for the price However, it could be so much better with just a few minor adjustments. However, you are paying $50 for this, so it's to be expected at this price point. So now that we've finished talking about the lavalier microphone, uh, the review, basically my final verdict about this lavalier microphone is that it's good. It's good for the price. It only has a couple of downfalls for me, which kind of sway my position towards different microphones. Okay, so right now the sound that you're hearing is coming from this headset. Now I'm a filmmaker so I don't see myself using this in the future but it comes in the package so I might as well test it out for you guys. So this thing might sound a bit better than the lavalier microphone just because it's much closer to my mouth. However, they pretty much have the same quality and the only uh, difference in between those two is the position where they're located. This thing sounds pretty good as well. Again, I don't see myself using this uh, in the future. However, if you're going to be using this, this is how it sounds like. The build quality of it is also decent. It's not amazing, but it's not bad as well. So if you're buying this to use this, I think you will like it. Okay, and we're back on the lavalier microphone. This is pretty much we've come to the end of the review. I hope you liked it. All the links will be in the description below to the microphone. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to Fine Fine for sending in their product to be reviewed. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday.